My name is Hamid Al Amari. I'm a producer and comedian. And as a native Qatari, I'll be your host for this course. And I'm very excited to share everything you need to know before visiting my incredible country. So let's start with a little bit of context about Qatar. And as your host through this course, you'll notice that I'm wearing this. This is our national dress. This is called a ghitra. This is called a gal. This is a thob. And this hat underneath, very important piece of fabric, is holding it all together. And just quickly on the pronunciation. As Qataris, there's two ways we like to pronounce it. It's either Qatar or Gitar. In English, there's multiple pronunciations. Qatar, Qatar, Qatar. All of these work. Qatar is right here in the Middle East, connecting the eastern and western sides of the world. Being a peninsula, we share most of our borders with the Arabian Sea. But we have one land border with Saudi Arabia in the south part of our country. There's really no place quite like Qatar, where beachy coastlines blend seamlessly into desert sand dunes. Qatar is a relatively flat desert country with its highest point being Abu al Hill, which is about 335 feet or 103 meters above sea level. A desert country, Qatar has warm, often humid summers with average temperatures of 36 degrees Celsius that sometimes make their way into the 50s, which is well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Qatar's summer is complemented by refreshing winter and spring seasons. The ideal time to enjoy the entirety of Qatar's offerings is between November and April, when the mild winter boasts average temperatures of 17 degrees Celsius. While it doesn't rain in Qatar much, that doesn't mean you won't see any water during your trip. Remember, Qatar is a peninsula, so we've got 350 miles or 560 kilometers of coastline. And the way Qatar's regions come together, each area has a little bit of everything. Beaches on the coast that sweep into sand dunes further inland. Qatar's size is a huge advantage for quickly getting around the entire country. Starting at Qatar's northernmost point, Al Shamal's coastline touches both eastern and western sides of the country. Most of the region's land consists of abandoned villages and archaeological sites. And I especially encourage you to visit Al Zabara Fort and museum while in this region, along with many beaches found in this area, to really get a sense of the history of my country. Next, we have the region of Al Khor. This region is known for its beautiful mangroves. Al Khor is worth a visit for its beautiful beaches and to check out the Al Bayt Stadium, host to the opening match of the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 which was designed after the traditional tents of our people. The area of Al Shahaniya is known for its camel racing and oryx breeding. On the east coast, just above Doha, we have Al Ba'ayn, home to Lusail City. Lusail is a really cool project to see in real life for anyone interested in sustainability and environmental protection practices, as this was one of the main goals kept in mind when building the city. Within Lusail City, there's Lusail Stadium, home to the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 final. Al Rayyan could be considered the sportiest of the regions. This area hosts several sports clubs and even three FIFA World Cup stadiums. And last but not least, Qatar's southernmost region is Al Wakra, which also has Qatar's only land border, which meets Saudi Arabia. When you visit, be sure to check out Souq Al Wakra and Khor al the Inland Sea, which is a UNESCO-recognized natural reserve and probably one of the coolest natural phenomena you will ever see. These are the most well-known areas of Qatar. Not only are all corners of Qatar completely accessible by car, this accessibility is further supported by a highly safe and secure environment for people to move around in. And if you're thinking of coming to Qatar, you might be wondering, is it safe? Let me assure you that it is. It's regularly rated one of the safest destinations in the world. Now that we've gained an understanding of the convenient environment of the country, let's dive into the unique regions of Qatar to better understand where you should visit and what you should see while you're here. Starting off with its capital, Doha. 